Good morning. I should say good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming on an absolute picture-perfect day here at Sylvan Terrace Park for a, a fitting weekend, a Veterans Day weekend for the dedication of this walking trail here in Sylvan Terrace Park. My name is Ken Slatz out of the Office of Public Communications. There's a lot of special guests with us today, as you can see, our Mayor Eddie Deloach, along with our District 5 Alderwoman, Dr. Estella Shabazz, State Rep. Craig T. Gordon is with us, and Lynn T. Hill, the Neighborhood Association President, is with us as well. As I said, this is a fitting weekend because it is named after a couple of servants to the United States of America, also servants to the city of Savannah, and also to the Sylvan Terrace neighborhood. So it's a fitting, definitely a fitting weekend. So we'll start things off with some opening words from our mayor, Eddie Deloach. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It's a great day in the city of Savannah. It's also a great day to recognize our military. Do we have any veterans here? Please stand up. Let's recognize our veterans. We do want to thank you for your service and the time you were there. We also want to recognize the fact that uh, uh, Mr. Richards and Mr. Sears both were uh, military veterans also and uh, served our country well and served our country honorably and retired and then went to work for the city of Savannah's. So we got a lot to talk about here. But uh, it is a great day and we any of the family here for any of the... Uh, okay, the Richards. Okay, well it's great to have y'all here and I understand we also got the purple and the pink going on here and I, I, he was on the <laughs> boat. We got two Omegas. I don't see any red and white. Where's the red and white? There it is. I knew I'd come get so I knew I'd get something going right there. Raise the head. You see what I'm saying? I, hey, it don't take much to crank that up. I'm telling you, it don't take much to crank that up. But we are glad to have each one of you here today, and uh, y'all enjoy yourself and and let's honor the military, honor our veterans, and this is a great fitting weekend to do this for both these gentlemen and for the overall military. Thank y'all for being here, and we look forward to hearing from Dr. Shabazz. Thank you, Mayor. Before Dr. Shabazz comes up, she'll give you some more details on why we're harking on a Veterans Day weekend. There's several others here. Uh, Leap Longberg of our Capital Projects Department is with us as well. Barry Baker, Parks and Recreation. Joe Shearhouse put a lot of work into this out of the city manager's office. So these are all folks that have done a lot and dedicate to parks and recreation throughout the city of Savannah. I see a member of Savannah Fire Rescue with us, Savannah Police Department for um, this area as well. So thank you to all of them. So for more details and much more, here's Dr. Estella Shabazz. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. It is truly a great day in the city of Savannah. And I am so happy to, I'm so happy we don't have any rain on this day. It's just absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Again, good afternoon, Sylvan Terrace and the family and friends of Lieutenant Colonel Thomas Sears and Mrs. Sears and Chief Warrant Officer David F. Richards Jr. and his wife, the late Mrs. Swanee Richards. I am truly blessed and humbled here today on this wonderful day here in Savannah's fabulous 5th District. Amen. Yes. To recognize these two men and their families who embody what is truly meant and as we mean to be service to others. Not long ago, we officially opened this beautiful surrounding space here and our modern walking trail and our Sylvan Terrace Park, as we call this space now, which includes, uh, along with our new park, five uh, exercise workout stations here. And all of this was funded through the 5th District Special Purpose Local Option Sales Tax, the SPLUS allocations, and we are so glad uh, about it. Today, we are here to dedicate this trail to two men and their families who inspired pride in their community and who gave of themselves. And when one give of themselves, the family comes along without having been asked to do so. Thomas E. Sears was retired 
as a lieutenant colonel and master army aviator for the United States Army. He served during the World War II, the Korean War, the Vietnam War, receiving the Legend of Merit, Distinguished Flying Heart, Air Medal, and Bronze Star. The late Colonel Sears and his family were the first African-American family to live here in Sylvan Terrace in this neighborhood. Following his service to our country, Colonel Sears served here, here, his city, as the director of the Model Cities program. World War II and Vietnam veteran Chief Warrant Officer David F. Richards was retired from the Army after 33 years of distinguished service. While serving, he bestowed a silver star, bronze star, and purple heart for his heroic valor. The late Chief Warrant Officer David F. Richards Jr. also served his city, the city of Savannah, as crime prevention analyst for the police department here for 12 years. I have no doubt that the family, friends, and neighbors of these two great Savannians and their families feel an enormous amount of pride on this special occasion. If you don't mind, I, I would like to take a point of personal privilege as I've learned to call this, because I want to thank everyone for another four years as I go back to City Hall. <laughs> under, the new, under the new administration that will begin in January 2020. As Savannah's Alderwoman, and Mayor, I can say that now. <laughs> as Savannah's Alderwoman, and, and Mayor Jackson just walked up. Uh, as Savannah's Alderwoman and as your 5th District Representative. I want to thank all of you for coming out on today. And I, when I drove up, I, I saw a purple event. And I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and that really stood out to me. But as I was asking and inquiring what was going on with all of the Omega men that we have present with us, and I was told as Mayor Deloach has stated that the Omega men is in the house and the two gentlemen that we are honoring who names will appear on this plaque that those who will come on tomorrow and generations and years from now um, these men were Omega men also and we are just uh, so 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 proud we want to thank all of you for coming out to show your support on this afternoon for this marker dedicated to two men who we see as larger than life individuals and their family. And I am saying may their spirit of service be upon us on this day and always and forevermore. Thank you all so much for being here. Along with, Mayor, along with Mayor Jackson, I see Alderman Van Johnson has showed up as well, and I see our police chief, Roy Minter, in the back as well. Thank you all very much for joining us. State Representative Craig T. Gordon is with us as well. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. I want to thank everybody for coming here and talk about what a, what a collective effort this was. I want to ask the, the, the neighborhood president, Ms. Lynn Hill, to come and join me. Oh, she's coming out the fact. Okay, okay, because you know this this whole project was just, a, I think, a perfect example of 
what a couple of phone calls on a piece of property that at one time was a parking lot for school buses has now turned into this, this edifice and this platform for community gathering and recreation. And now we're honoring, you know, two legends, um, you know, uh, I, I, I was talking to my, my neighbor, neighbor, excuse me, from across the street, Steve, and uh, saw him on the way coming down and jumped in the shower and literally threw on, you know, this uh, this hoodie strictly because I thought it was going to be cold and I, and, 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 and I feel it. Um, but 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 the shirt honors two other legends, uh, Sidney Poitier and, and Harry Belafonte. And as, as I think about two people that helped um, integrate and promote um, tolerance, not just around the country, but around the world, I think about two men that um, that made their home this neighborhood and did the same thing, not just locally, but, but abroad as well as serving their country. So I want to thank their families for, for lending and loaning them to us. Uh, um, through through the late nights and, and weekends and time away uh, ser serving our country uh, as well as everything they did for the city of Savannah while they were here and uh, and, and, and their kids and the, and the contributions that they've made so so thank you uh, on behalf of the state of Georgia on behalf of the Georgia Legislative Black Caucus which is still the largest black caucus in the country we honor you with resolutions uh, to come sooner than later and uh, and just thank you for for, for sharing these two wonderful men and their wives with us as a community. And I just thank the city and the Neighborhood Association and everybody's co collective work in making this park happen. You know, it what is what is a long time coming, but I think it's worth it. It'll be here for decades and, and hopefully centuries to come. You know, whether we're talking about our seniors taking a stroll, our kids, or, or this neighborhood picnic happening, you know, year 60 and year 61. It was all because of the work that was done probably, what, two or three years in the, in the making? Yeah, probably two or three years in the making to, to get us where we are. So I just want to want to thank everybody and thank everybody for coming out. One thing I've learned with the city, I'm sure we all have, is nothing really gets accomplished without having the neighborhoods. And neighborhood revitalization and the, the folks in the neighborhood becoming involved and getting involved in neighborhood functions. Uh, the president of our neighborhood association is Lynn T. Hill. Good morning. Good morning. On behalf of the Sylvan Terrace, T Sylvan Terrace Neighborhood Association, we offer our gratitude to Mayor Eddie DeLoach, to Dr. Estella Shabazz, who worked with us through this entire effort, phone calls, nudging us, having suggestions, et cetera, et cetera. And although that ETC, just three letters, there's a lot included in that, et cetera. Uh, Mr. Joe Shiraus, is he here today? Well, he's not here, but he helped us through the process and exercised extreme patience with us as we went through that process. Other city staff who assisted in the effort, State Representative J. Cor J. Craig Gordon. He's very quiet and he's very humble about this, but actually the park was his vision several years ago. And uh, I think it is certainly proper to give him credit for that, although he would never say anything about it himself. Thanks to everyone who's joined us, our friends, um, the Omegas who has made a, a very obvious uh, presence, um, Alphas, uh, friends of the Sears and Richards families our police chief, our representative from the fire department as well. I want to seize and certainly the members of St. Philip AME Church who came out this, this afternoon. I want to seize this opportunity certainly to recognize the real troopers here and they are the officers and members of the Sylvan Terrace Neighborhood Association Please know that nothing gets done without your support. And I'm going to ask all of our officers to please stand. We had our, we have um, some persons who are working over here and so everyone is not, excuse me. 
everyone's not in the area. Um, our members of the Seven Terrace Neighborhood Association, please stand. Uh, we have a program committee um, that will be Joe, excuse me, that will be Steve and Jonelle. And the reception committee, please stand. Thank you. And again, some of them are over here in the center of the park preparing the food for the day. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing, wrote Leonardo da Vinci. And he continues, knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. We are here today in honor of two individuals who clearly believed in the urgency of doing. To further enlighten us on their amazing accomplishments, that is of Colonel Thomas Sears and Chief Warrant Officer 4, David F. Richards, Jr. We have with us today, Reverend David F. Richards III and Jonelle Gordon. We're gonna ask Mr. Richards, Reverend Richards, if you would please introduce your family members when you come up. And uh, we want to offer our thanks and warm regards to Yvette Richards for helping us, providing information, et cetera. And we're going to ask Jonelle if she would come up and start for us. Thank you. It is my great pleasure to say a few words about uh, Colonel Thomas Sears. Uh, his widow, Anna Jean Sears, lives in Atlanta and she was so sorry that she was not able to be here. And the two children were, um, had other commitments that uh, made it uh, impossible for them to come also. But she did send this few words and asked me to please read to you. Uh, and she says, we miss him still. We are proud of his many achievements and wish that we could have been a part of this dedication ceremony. We thank all of you for the tribute you are paying him and his family today. We will always remember you. Sincerely, Audie Jean Sears. In the opening, uh, Dr. Chapaz gave you a few items in terms of some of the accomplishments of Colonel Sears. So I'd just like to add to some of the things that, uh, that she already has said. Um, among the many honors that Colonel Sears received, uh, <coughs> excuse me, was uh, the Legion of Merit, the Distinguished Flying Cross with four leaf clusters, the Air Medal with 26 oak leaf clusters, the Bronze Star. Uh, and I think it's very interesting that Colonel Sears, after leaving the military and retiring, also started a career um, of, of William's many careers. He became, as uh, was said earlier, the first director of the Savannah Model Cities Program then he taught at Savannah State in the criminal justice program. Then he got his jurisprudence degree. Then <laughs> he went to uh, divinity school and became an ordained Presbyterian minister. So he was a very busy man even after retiring from the military. Um, as many of you might know, the, the Sears had three children. Uh, the oldest son died several years ago. But um, the other son, Michael, is on the faculty at the Naval Academy at Annapolis, Maryland. And of course, their daughter is Judge Leah Sears, who was the first African-American female Chief Justice of the Georgia Supreme Court. Um, so a very distinguished family. And in terms of their having been the first African-American family to move into Sylvan Terrace, it has been very interesting talking to um, Jean's, Aunt Jean Sears in terms of that whole ex experience and I've really thoroughly enjoyed rekindling our friendship because we had lost sight of each other for a number of years but when the family first moved in they, they lived in Sylvan Terrace for 27 years and only left when Colonel Sears died they um, became actively involved in the already existing neighborhood association at the time 
And then, of course, um, Colonel Sears later became one of the, uh, the Neighborhood Association uh, presidents. Um, he was also very active at a number of civic organizations, uh, the Boy Scouts of America. He was a member of the Chatham County um, uh, School Board. And of course, he was also a member of Omega Psi Phi fraternity. And, and for several years, on a national level, he was their national chaplain. Uh, this, in a nutshell, are some of the accomplishments of Colonel Sears, and it has been a great pleasure for me to share some of these with you. I would like to, before I leave the podium, uh, take responsibility for something. Uh, Representative Gordon mentioned that there would be a resolution that's coming from the state legislature. It would have been here today, but it's my fault, so I take the blame. Don't blame him. Blame his mother, okay? <laughs> um, I got so engrossed in, in, the, in putting together the great information that came from both the Sears and the Richards family, I thought I had already turned it over to him so that he could go through the process, and I hadn't. But it's just been very exciting, and to see that there were so many um, similarities in terms of their background, not only both being Omegas, but both being retired, highly decorated service people, and then having second careers or third and fourth careers after they left the military. And on behalf of the Richards family, David Richards, Reverend David Richards III. Before, uh, yes, <laughs> he just said classmate, sure enough. Um, before uh, Pastor Richards uh, speak, I'm going to ask because this is being televised and is going to be uh, shown uh, throughout our community, but it's also going to be a part of the archives of the city of Savannah. And I will ask if all of the men of Omega Psi Phi, I need you all to come and stand behind us quickly uh, before he starts to talk, uh, because I want this uh, to go down in history and history as you are being present in number uh, here on this afternoon. So please quickly, if you can come and stand behind us. Thank you all so much. Today is indeed an honor to come for this dedication of this park. But joining me today is travel from Kansas City, Missouri, is my younger sister, Yvette Kim Richards. And then also, you can come on, Yvette, I know she. And uh, our baby sister wasn't available to come because her son playing in the championship football game and so they won the, uh, their division so now they they have a bye week and getting ready to go for the championship and that's Bonnie Dr. Bonnie K. Anthony and her husband Vince her son VJ and the daughter Faith Christina also with me is my beautiful wife Linda amen. sitting on the front row amen and as my mother would say blessed her with four handsome grandsons. Amen. David IV is working on his PhD in geology at the University of Georgia. We have Micah Ryan, who is the assistant city manager of Stone Mountain, Georgia. We have Aaron Joseph Richards, who's behind me, a graduate of Georgia State, heading to law school. You raise your hand. Amen. You know how Swanee would do you. Amen. And then I have Joshua who's the baby, Joshua Emmanuel. <clears throat> Chief Warrant Officer Richards was a man that was taught by example. His mother and father lived in a community in which they were 
involved from collecting tides in the winter blizzards to feeding the hungry, clothing the naked. When he was young, he had a paper route. First he had to walk, then he saved his money, and then he had a bicycle. Been in a small community where his mother, Christina Diggs Richards, who got her degree in 1915 in domesticated studies, meaning they educate you on how to take care of yourself in a rural setting, knowing how to dig wells, to move the pump from the outside to the in-house, and then when the new in-house public toilets, she would first show the people in the white community because they were allowed to have it first and then brought into the African-American community. She traveled throughout the Northwest teaching rural communities how to bring their crops together to make a difference in the community that you lived. So much so that their family would raise a 700 pound hog every year. Grandpa had a skill of raising this hog and they would butcher it, pack it up, pack it in salt, preserve it in the uh, smokehouse, and then spread it and divide it and share it in the community along with all the other vegetables, those who grew a garden in their backyards. Chief Richards, a man of unwavering commitment, his commitment first to God, his commitment to family, his commitment to country, his commitment to live a life of integrity, so much so when he was battling with prostate cancer that he would not take the benefits from the military because they were already paying for the extended that cost $10,000 a month. The integrity that you, he could have got paid twice, but he said the Lord is providing. And so my father was a man that left a legacy that the men in our household would always be prepared academically, and his academic record shows that he possessed the mental capacity to prepare himself for service to humanity. Don't need to go through the litany of all the areas of expertise. It's on his bio. But the thing is, is that he had a motto, and his motto was, there's no hill for a stepper, meaning, at every stumbling block that came your way, he would turn it into a stepping stone for success. Integrating in certain areas of the military, airborne, special operations, Delta Force, and covert operations. When he had six tours to Vietnam, three of them were with halo jumps going behind enemy lines to retrieve a colonel that was shot down. And in that, ambushed three times. But the Lord said unto him, be still and know that I'm your God. And when the enemy was standing on top of him, did not know when you're trained with proficiency of those who have trained you and you implement it, and God is your witness and your shield and your fortress, he will protect you. So I thank God for his service, but also his service to community, being a member of uh, the founding member of the 100 black men but yet brought into this illustrious and most powerful fraternity on the earth. The influence that they make and that we make, manhood, scholarship, perseverance, and uplift. My brothers and sisters, I do want to let you know Colonel Sears was in the neighborhood first and met my dad and introduced him to the community. We moved here in 1976. But God has connected us, not just through the fraternity, but the will of God to serve the community, to uplift the people in which you live, not just in the community, but in the state, the city, and wherever you go, to be an influence, to change the status quo. There's a lot of negativity that's thrown out. People get all caught up in political stuff. I said it. I know I got some political people behind me, but the bottom line, I serve the living God. And we're all God's children. 
and we need to uplift the people to make a difference. Yes. And that was my parents' model. Yes. Swanee and Dave yes. made a difference by helping all people of every ethnicity. Amen. Whether you spoke German, Hebrew, Arabic, French, Latin, Italian, whatever it was, we all have some similarities. And when we look at one another, we're human beings. Amen. And our goal is to uplift our children so they make a difference in the lives and the life that they live. I thank you for this time. I thank you for this honor to be bestowed upon these two gentlemen. And to all you all that are in the civil service of uplifting the community, remember, there is a day and time that you have to answer to the judgment of the work that you have done. Please make sure you uplift the community in which you live. Thank you so much, and God bless you, and God keep you. Thank you, Reverend Richards. Before we unveil the Sears Richards Walking Trail sign, I believe we have a presentation by Ms. Hill. Steve Stanley is going to join me here. And we're going to ask uh, Jonelle to come up to represent the Sears family and a representative from the Richards family, please. You can stand right, right here. Yes. We have a gift that we'd like for you to take home and have this be something that reminds you of this special occasion today and the contributions that your father made. And we have to say something about Ms. Swanee, you know that. <laughs> Since I've served as president, she's not been able to come out to meetings. But um, Mrs. Brown is here. Uh, there was a block captain for her block, and she was not satisfied with the job that was being done. <laughs> And I'm sure you all are not surprised because her expectations are great. So she chose another person. Uh, that would be Mrs. Evelyn Brown. So she called me to let me know what was going to happen. Uh, she spoke with Mrs. Brown. Uh, she requested a copy of every agenda from our monthly meetings. And she supported everything that we did. She stayed abreast from home. She did more than a whole lot of persons did. So we certainly appreciate her efforts. And she always made sure that, that the dues was paid on time. And that, that's important as well. So we have this for you. And we're just gonna ask you if you open it and um, let us let everyone see what it looks like, please. Well, thank you very much. Did everyone get, get to see it? If not, I'm sure that they don't mind sharing it with you. We hope that it will have a special place in someone's home. So thank you all. Pardon? We'll make copies so that they can share. So you don't have to split it. I'll take it first and then I'll Well, thank you all very much. And Jonelle, thanks to Steve. Steve Stanley is the person who handled getting all of this done and Joe kindly wrapped it for us. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> and for the Sears family. Thank you. And Steve is doing a historical documentation of our neighborhood and he has arranged, uh, thanks to Janelle with her help, he's arranged to interview Mrs. Sears and her daughter. So he'll be going to Atlanta to do that. They're working on it, but we're certain that it's going to happen. And Steve is going to hand deliver her gift to her. So thank you all so much. That's it, yes. Yeah. 
thank you all very much for coming. We do appreciate it. What we'll do at this time is the cameras will be shooting out that way. And if we could ask the Sears Richards family or elected officials to gather behind the sign right over there in the corner, we're going to unveil the official sign. Thank you again. Thank you.